What does it mean to be a designer of sustainable products? What is sustainability anyways? What happens to something you design when nobody wants to use it anymore? I think sometimes people spend so much of their time inside, whether it's inside a car or inside their house, it really drives home the point to us that indoor air quality is paramount to people's health. So the products that we put inside those environments need to make sure they're not off-gassing and that they don't affect indoor air quality, that there's no negative impact to human health. Everyone deserves the right to have fresh air. I think sometimes people can be pretty shocked at how big an environmental footprint the building industry has, whether it's you know energy use or construction waste or just the sheer uh, material that goes into it. It's bigger than any other industry that we know of. It's bigger than the automotive industry, consumer electronics industry. It's huge. It's a huge impact on our environment. Is there a sustainable product? I mean, there's right not there. a day that doesn't go by where somebody in this group doesn't doesn't talk about, with a sense of disgust, the throwaway economy and the evil that product designers do. I think we feel really good about the work that we do as much as we feel frustrated when uh, any of us walks around and sees the cheap things that are just on a straight line for the landfill. So we were just walking down by the shore. There's lots of items that have washed up plastic bags, water bottle caps, other things, and it just kind of makes you think that, you know, that nothing ever goes away. Our strategy is pretty simple, and I feel like it's tattooed on the inside of my eyelids sometimes. You know, material chemistry, life cycle analysis, and reuse and recycling, whether it's uh, disassembly or not mixing incompatible materials. When we work backwards from that end, we often create much simpler, more elegant products. For me, the most important part of a product being sustainable is that we've asked all the right questions in a very serious way. What the effect of creating those materials is on the environment. I mean, it's very technical when you start breaking down all the materials and the contents of what you can and can't do and put into products. Understanding manufacturing issues and how those materials behave and how they affect the people who work in our manufacturing environments. How they behave in uh, interior spaces, how they behave in an office environment once it's done. We have a responsibility to make sure that it's very easy to know what to do at the end of life cycle of a product. So it's those questions uh, asked and acted on that I think uh, are most important in making a product sustainable. We think it's so important that we do it that we go that extra mile because we all have that kind of legacy with Steelcase and that accountability we have for one another that that's, that's important for us to do. You can't just have a child in a straw hat holding a flower and standing in a field and say, we're a sustainable company too, that pisses me off. You know, it's time to look at the metrics and say, this is what we've done and this is what we're committed to doing. We can't create beautiful products without sustainability. It's really not optional for us. We, we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone in the world with what we're doing, and I'd say, and measure us, because it's true. The facts are black and white and green. <laughs>